Now that you've identified needs in your community and potential resources for identifying these needs, it's time to begin brainstorming to find a solution and design your project. This can sometimes be a difficult task to complete as there can be many different solutions or projects that can address one need. This video will focus on how to brainstorm various ideas, explore each topic, and find the one that will be the most sustainable and impactful to address the needs of your community. Let's first start with brainstorming. When beginning to brainstorm project ideas, no idea is a bad one. Even if the idea doesn't seem doable or realistic, these ideas often lead to more solid and concrete ones. In this video, we'll look at a few brainstorming techniques that you can try when finding your need, solution, and project. Let's first take a look at mind mapping. Mind mapping is a great and visual way to brainstorm ideas. The model uses a central topic to branch out and form different ideas and can be done on your own or in a group. For example, the central topic for brainstorming a community service project could be the need or challenge that is being solved. Once this is written in the center of the map, you begin, can begin to create branches that explore various solutions to the need. For example, a need could be lack of a food pantry in the community. Branches for this could include creating a food pantry, building a food donation system, or even setting up small food donation boxes around the community. These big branches could then even be expanded. If we looked at the branch creating a food pantry, we could create smaller branches from this that include the who, what, when, where, and why of the solution, such as where would the food pantry be? What would the food pantry look like? Who would maintain it? This visual brainstorming method can help you explore each idea in detail to come to the best solution. Now let's take a look at brainwriting. This technique can be a great way for team members to brainstorm together without having to verbally talk about their ideas. This can be helpful when a team member may be shy of sharing an idea in fear of the team not liking the concept. For brainwriting, each team member is given a piece of paper. Take five minutes and have each member write down as many solutions, ideas, and concepts as possible. At the end of the time, the papers can be collected and the team leader can read the ideas to the group. Once all ideas are read out loud, the group can go through and discuss each idea and the feasibility of each one. Now let's take a look at round robin. This is another technique that can give quieter members of the group a chance to share their thoughts, opinions, and ideas. To do a round robin brainstorming session, each team member takes a turn in sharing their ideas out loud to the group. This helps to ensure everyone is heard and that the first idea of the leaders isn't the one that is immediately selected. You can even brainstorm on your own. There are several different ways to do this, such as free writing, where you write down any thoughts, ideas, opinions that come to mind quickly, or you can even try drawing a mind map on your own and then expanding on it before coming together with your group. Of course, there are many other brainstorming techniques that we didn't discuss, so feel free to explore other methods that might work better for you and your project team. The key to a good brainstorming session is not overthinking, communicating with your team, and remembering that ideas can come in many different shapes and forms. Once you've done some brainstorming and narrowed down your ideas to one or two projects and solutions, it's time to select your project. Some things to consider when selecting the right project for the community is thinking about the impact, sustainability, and level of need for this project, as well as community buy-in and support. So first, let's take a look at impact. Of course, with any project, we need to be thinking about how the solution directly affects the need. Some questions to think about include, what impact will this project have when completed? Who will benefit from this project? Will there be outside beneficiaries that are indirectly affected by the project? How will I know if this project has made an impact? Next, let's look at sustainability. We also want to be thinking about how sustainable this project is. Sustainable projects, which we will discuss further in our final video of the series, are focused on not only impacting the immediate participants, but also creating a system where the project continues to make a difference even after the project is officially concluded. A few questions to think about when choosing between two or three projects include, which project is most sustainable? What are some ways that each of these projects can be sustainable? Are there any challenges one of these projects has that make it unable to be sustained or where it would only have a short-term impact? And finally, let's look at level of need. The final concept to think about when finalizing your project is level of need. 
It's important to think about each project idea and ensure that the project will directly affect and solve a need of the community. Sometimes it is easy to get excited about a fun, creative project, but if it isn't directly impacting our need or issue, it may be best to reassess or add on to the project. On a similar note, make sure that you have community buy-in and support for your project. If people in your community are not supportive of your project, that may be a sign to rethink your approach. So with this video, we have explored ways to brainstorm ideas for your project and things to think about when narrowing down your options. This can be often a difficult step in the project management process, as sometimes we have many wonderful project ideas, but don't have the resources and capacity to implement all of them. After watching this video, take some time to think about the needs of your community and the resources you have, and then begin to brainstorm ideas for your project. Once you have narrowed down or even selected your final project idea, move on to the next video to learn how to set goals and begin your project steps.